What is baptism? In simple terms, being baptized is like putting on a wedding ring. It's a response to a loved one and an outward symbol of an inward commitment. Baptism is a way for us to express a personal decision to believe and accept the salvation of God through Jesus Christ. Just as Christ was crucified and buried, we are immersed in water to symbolize the burial of our old ways. And again, just as Christ was raised from the dead, we are also raised out of the water, symbolizing our new life in Christ. The Apostle Paul said it this way, We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Today we celebrate with people as they take their next step and tell the world how Jesus has changed their lives. Hi, I'm Monica Watson and I am being baptized to proclaim my faith with Jesus Christ and to show everyone that this is the steps that I am taking to closer that walk with him. As a child, we always would go to church with my grandparents. My grandmother was like big on us attending church every Sunday. I think as a child, we was always taught of who Jesus was and how he loved us. Um, so through that, it was kind of like having that village of like your church family and they were all older. So when they died off, I kind of felt like the village was gone. So it was kind of at that point where we had no guidance. I would party. I had children and I wasn't married. Like those was the that was the lifestyle that I had before Jesus. Like I went through a marriage that wasn't really a marriage. I went through a divorce that was painful. Um, it was a lot like that I encountered as life before I know it now with Christ. Before then, like I said, I was a single mother. I was struggling. Life was upside down. It was always trying to figure things out on my own rather than just being patient. I guess I was impatient. I was very impatient and I wanted everything right away. When I decided to follow Christ was, I was like eight months ago and my daughter had did a summer theater program and one of the leaders from the theater, she recognized me from being a teenager over at first glance. God, that was like 16 years ago. <laughs> so being that she realized like who I was once after the theater, she invited me over to one of her programs that she's doing. It was a mentoring program, so I joined it. She gave me two awesome mentors. And with meeting with them daily, they then was like mentioning like, hey, we got a Bible study. We'd love for you to like visit it. So I visited the Bible study and I loved it. It was like, it was really easy to follow the word of God being that it was broken down and it was a small Bible study. I read the book of James and I think James hit hard because it laid everything out and I was just like, wow, that's crazy that I'm having this realization. So I think like at that moment of joining that Bible study is when I was like, time is now. I think at this time era, I'm more mature to appreciate the things that Jesus do. As a mother before Christ, like I said, I went through the phases of being a single mother, and that was always hard. I was always stressed and anxious because I wanted, like I said, I wanted quick answers. I wanted to be like, this is gonna go like that. But now with Christ, <laughs> it's important for my children to know who he is. I want them to have a different perspective on Jesus than what I had as a child. I need them to know the sacrifice that he had. like what he did. He died on the cross for us, like for our sins. He knew that we were going to come in and be sinners. And I need them to know that rather than taking it lightly as I did as a child. Like, Jesus love you. That's a broad statement to make as a child when you don't have the, the explanation behind it. Like, what is the depth of his love is what I need them to understand and who God is and why we are here to love and worship him. Jesus to me is everything. He is my savior. He is the one who understands me the most. I can have a private conversation with him and not be judged. I can go to him with all of my worries 
and it seems as if it's like a breath of fresh air that like, I just allow myself to to let that go. I think is the most important part. I love this, Monica, and I love um, what Jesus has done in you and what he's doing through you. And it's my pleasure to be in life group with you and to see what God is doing in you with your kids and your family, and it's great. So because of your profession and your faith in Jesus, I want to baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the way that, just as Monica said, that you take us at our worst, no matter what we've done, no matter what our baggage is, and you wipe the sin clean and offer us a new transformative life in Jesus. We thank you for what you're doing in Monica. We're so grateful for the ways in which she is experiencing that new life and that faith in you. And we pray that even today and for the weeks and months and years to come, that she would continue to be a light for Jesus helping not only her children and her family and her friends, but who knows, around the community and the world, who she will impact because of the way that you are working in her life. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, I pray that each and every one of us that are here today would be her village, that would be her tribe, that we would surround and encourage and help her continue to grow in the Lord. It's your name, Jesus, that we pray these things. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen.